Uh, well, Zell Lee. Boy, that's an easy name to spell. First and last name, isn't it? Right. But AsanaNaturalArts.com. That's the hard... Uh, I guess it's harder, but it's not it's so obvious. Asana, A-S-A-N-A, -A natural, right? N-A-T, U-R-A-L, and arts. Everybody knows that one. A-R-T-S. And you throw a got dot com on it, and what you find it there is... Beautiful stuff. I mean, it's incredible. Have you taken nature in butterflies? And before we went on the air, you educated me about, I had no idea. Butterflies only live for weeks. And that's a long life for a butterfly. But their beauty stays forever, doesn't it? And that's what you do, is take that beauty forever and share it with us. Yep, that's right. Now we get to enjoy it forever. Right, and you do it in, in shadow boxes where you put them up in the little natural scenes and have a beautiful work of art of real nature. I think that's what we're losing in technology. Technology is great. You and I could talk, you know, at 3,000 miles apiece and, and, and do business and everything. But that natural part of us, I think that's what, you know, maybe religion is all about and uh, meditation is getting back to nature is what us humans are really about and we lose it with all this technology so you're bringing it back to us aren't you yeah that is a main reason why i started this business is to bring us closer to nature yeah. and that's what we're about i mean we're part of nature right <laughs> we're just like a bug or butterfly but we're living longer aren't we <laughs> yeah i relate to butterflies and insects it's it's just me getting closer to mother nature yeah, no, it's wonderful. And those earrings you have on now, I thought they were butterfly wings, but you say they're beetle wings. Huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and they'll stay forever. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so you were explaining too how the, the butterfly and, and uh, insects, we have farms with these, right? And that's where you get it from. You're not out killing butterflies or something to do this. This is the natural progression of butterflies and they're raised on farms and that's where you get your material. Yeah, that's right. It's been an interesting change the last 20 years. Um, when people see me at art festivals and they're the older generation, they will recount when they were a kid running around with a net catching butterflies. It's not that way anymore. You have to turn to conservation and preservation methods because we've taken too much from the earth. So now we don't just run around and catch these butterflies. There's established preservation farms. The farms protect their natural environment and increase their survival rate. Then once they live and die naturally on the farm, we turn them into recycled artwork. Wow. Boy, that, that's the ultimate recycling. Not only my you know, compost in my kitchen, but now <laughs> the butterflies and, and bugs and everything is recyclable. That, that's yeah. terrific. And you sell, now you're selling all over. I mean, you didn't, you didn't know much about business before you started this, did you? Um, well, I've always had entrepreneur goals and I, I do have education and degrees, but I also felt like there's a lot of opportunity with the internet. I've, I'm kind of a younger generation who's into Facebook and Instagram and finding different ways of um, expanding and, and showing off these awesome things that I make. And uh, you also do have to stay up on, on the changing um, demands because Facebook is kind of five, ten years ago. And now it's your mother's on Facebook, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So um, with the younger generation, the internet has a lot of opportunities, um, but it's also changing. You constantly have to stay up on it. But I've learned a lot just by putting myself out there and seeing where and what people react to and adapting when things change. Yeah, the, the people tell you what you should do. I mean, <laughs> you just have to be open-minded enough to realize they're telling you. Some of us are too bullheaded. And that's why I think women are more successful at entrepreneuring than men, because men, you know, we, we, just, we know the best way. Yeah. <laughs> and women are born with ears. Men aren't, um, is my contention. <laughs> well, I don't know. Everyone's different, so... I just, I can only speak for myself and I've had fun making a business and seeing it change. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, you started out with just, uh, j just the dioramas or, or the uh, boxes, right? And it took, yeah. 
it took listening to customers said, hey, what about jewelry? What about jewelry? And I guess you turned it down for a while until it really finally snuck in. Huh? Yeah, that's right. And um, I used to um, work in a two bedroom apartment. I was operating my business just in my bedroom, trying to make it work. And um, the only way to grow, I, I kind of had to get a studio space. So I purchased a five bedroom house and three of them are currently used as business for Wow, no kidding. So from an apartment to a five bedroom house and, and three of those bedrooms are businesses? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's right. But at least you're still at home. You don't have to sit in traffic every day, right? I play with my dog and um, I, yeah, I'm at home. I don't have to commute to work and it's, it's great. Yeah, no, it's a wonderful life. And that's what I'm trying to do is encourage other people to see this is possible to take a passion you know, like you have. Now, who would have thought you could make butterfly wing jewelry, you know? Uh, but and you didn't even know that when you started. You were just trying to educate people about butterflies, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And now you say it's not on the internet, but you go to festivals and distributors too. So people, your, your jewelry and boxes are in stores, right? Yep, yeah, I'm in natural history museums. Um, I'm in pharmacies, I'm in grocery stores. Pharmacies, grocery stores. <laughs> you name it, I've, I've been in a lot of stores. Well, now you got a good excuse to travel anywhere too, right? Yeah, it, I travel for art shows and then I usually hit up gift shops that I wanna be into. Unless I'm already in a gift shop, then I will visit that gift shop and say, hey, what's up? Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Well, and you're creating a life, and I hear you even got your boyfriend involved, huh? Yeah, um, I've been doing business for six years. We've actually been together for six years, uh, but we wanted to see and make sure that the business could sustain myself, and um, taking it kind of slow, and and we, we finally made the plunge in January. He joined me full-time. Wow, so they finally got together <laughs> professionally right yeah we're living the artist dream right <laughs> oh that's a, and he's an engineer so he didn't know about bugs at all until he met you right? yeah a structural engineer surprisingly can have an artistic side to him and he hated working in the office so he joined me and he's he's being able to uh, have that artistic outlet now. Uh, we're all artists. It's just a matter of what it is, you know, I feel. Because there's something special and unique about us inside that we got to bring out. And, and usually organizations don't want you to bring it out. Yeah. <laughs> Especially big organizations. Yeah. So a small yeah. organization like you, he can bring it out there because you need anything. Just just uh, supply and the demand is what I guess you're chasing. You say every business, I mean, every holiday is just bigger than the last. Huh? Yeah, it, it just blows me out of the water how my business can continue to grow, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing better than that. All that nice, positive feedback from people. Hey, I love what you're doing. Thank you. And they'll throw money at you to boot so you don't have to go get a job you hate, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Hey. Feedback is what I thrive on. I really like to hear that I've made a difference in someone else's life. I either make them beautiful in what they wear or in their house, bringing them closer to nature and that they're happy with the product I made. It's addictive, man. It's addictive. It's like any, you know, <laughs> ice cream or drugs or any <laughs> positive feedback to me is like the same. <laughs> hey, you start a butterfly collection, you only start with one. Then I have who bought 20 items from me and it's filled their wall with wow. different no kidding so, hey, that's wonderful hey, you got the bug passion just like i do <laughs> got the bug passion or the bug well there's a better joke in there but i couldn't find it <laughs> well thank you zelly and you find your bugs and jewelry and boxes and everything asana natural arts.com a-s-a-n-a natural n-a-t-u-r-a-l a-r-t-s dot com wonderful zell nice to meet you nice to know that someone recycling all this beautiful parts of nature so we can all you take advantage of it and appreciate it more thank you so much Zell. thank you